staff, management, or sponsors. Good evening, everyone. Hello out there. Welcome to the weekend. I'm Gerald. And I'm Lori. And we We are are the the Healthy Credit Credit Gals. Our goal is to educate you on credit and financial matters. Join us on this journey to increase your awareness of credit and health and how they impact your life. If you've ever experienced financial stress, and most of us have at some point, then you know how unsettling it can be. There are many ways to actively take control of the situation, restore your credit score, and rebuild your purchasing power. If you have a question and want to join the show, call in at 888-565-14. Let us guide you in creating financial fitness and peace of mind. Hi, everyone. Hello out there. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Healthy Credit Gals. We're excited to be here. We're very happy to be here. We hope you're staying dry, but the weekend is here. And Friday night, Saturday, hopefully you have big plans. Do you have big plans, Lori? Just trying to stay dry this weekend. Yeah, hoping Texas doesn't get it too bad and happy to be in Florida this weekend, that's for sure. So here we are talking credit again. Yay. First, we just have to ab- absolutely let everybody know all of our social media has been launched now. So you can get, you can find us on our website, uh, thehealthycreditgals.com. And also on Facebook, our Facebook page is up, The Healthy Credit Gals. Yeah, yeah, you can also (laughs) also listen to us. Tune in on AM 1470 and FM 95.3 if if you're going to listen in, if you're driving in in the rain or driving in the car anywhere. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. It would be, we we have a great show planned. We've, um, since it is the weekend, we thought we may be discussing date night. I don't know, maybe I'm (laughs) dating myself. Is there still date night? But Saturday night used to be date night. So we're going to delve into that a little and see how some of those uh, situations go down these days. So before we get started, we want to invite everybody to play along with us. We have a little game that we're going to we're going to start out with. So picture this. You are walking around. You have a cloud like this above your head or over your face. I mean, that's that's all that you're going to that's all you know about that (laughs) other person. If this was the situation where everybody you looked at, you would know their score, how would that change your thoughts and your relationships? Yeah, would would you date or would you marry or would you be with that significant other if you knew that score from the get-go? So that's our topic that we would like to um, get everybody involved in today. Share your thoughts, join us. You can call in at 888-565-1470. So let's yeah. talk more yeah. about so that. Let's, so it, it, so okay, so Saturday night when I was growing up was always considered date night. Uh, I don't know if, you know, the, the gentleman still <laughs> pays the way, so maybe we're gonna be dating ourselves a little <laughs> with this scenario, but you know, bear with us a little. So, you like this girl. You really like this girl and you and you've been you know, schmoozing her for quite a while and finally she agrees to go out with you. Like this is this is the one for you. You you want to marry this girl. That's how that's how bad you have it. <laughs> Right? That's good. Can, That's you, good. can you feel that? Do you know how that feels? Like you are so excited to it's you know, tomorrow night. It's Saturday night. You are going out with this girl and you are set. 
Now, first date, first how's that date. impression going to go? And you, you know, like they say, you only have one chance to make a first impression. That's it. You can't go back. So what's, what's happening here? Well, let's say, you know, somebody, it's their first date and, and you're the guy and you're expected to pay. What if you have a score like this, 610? Or even worse, like this. <laughs> 522 and you don't have a lot of cash so you grab what cash you have right and you have no credit you do not have a credit card at this point you you maybe you were wise enough to rip them up <laughs> um, but you realize the credit card is not a good move for you so cash your your cash is king and you 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 think you're going to have plenty of cash. This date is just gonna flow and you, you pick out the favorite restaurant and I don't know how I don't even know how much you'd have to have in your pocket, but you have what you have. Let's just say it's the you took everything out because you're laying it all on the line for this girl. You're thinking the first impression, gotta go all out, take her to the best restaurant in town, right? Right. And have the cash and let her order anything that she wants. So let's say you have 300 bucks. Okay, I okay. think that's reasonable so. to think that that's plenty for the first date. Now you've, you're wise enough to know as a very intuitive male that you do not want this girl to split the bill. You do not want this girl to pick up the bill. You want to have it covered. You, you want to impress her. You, right. <laughs> this is it. So. So you get to her house. You do everything that you can to impress her. You knock at the door. You're polite to, to her family, her parents if it's depending you, on what you, age you you're at. Even came, you even came with a you know with a bouquet of flowers like oh my god so here we go we're making that first impression you open up the door you get in the car you drive off and have wonderful chit chat good conversation on the way to the restaurant get there have the best reservation for the most nicest, romantic table nicest table right and you start, you know, you start with your hors d'oeuvre and you have a drink and... And she orders the, like, the best champagne. So now your calculator starts going. You're trying to make sure you're on top of how much is she ordering, how much everything costs. So you just want to make sure everything is affordable for you for what you have because again you have no credit so and what this, you have is in your pocket is all you have at this point you're still enjoying the moment it hasn't quite gotten to that point where okay so you're you're moving along in the evening conversations and, good and, and you're enjoying the food <laughs> and more drinks are ordered so that calculator starts going again. And the waiter actually <laughs> comes by with a bottle. You know, really, it would be so much better if you just bought the bottle. So now what do you do? Like, she's, yeah, let's get the bottle. Now the panic sets in, right? Right, right. And um, so, yeah, what's going through your mind? I mean, you're, you're, you, do you get up? You use the bathroom? You text your friend? Like, what am I going to do? Like, what's going on? You're, you, you hear my, my shoes are tapping. You hear them? My <laughs> shoes are tapping. <laughs> That's, That's so funny. you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm. Sounds like the heartbeat. Your the, heart's beating, Your heart's right? beating, and you're starting to, you know, get little beads of sweat. Like, what? <laughs> words don't eat what am I gonna do what are you gonna do so hey has anyone out there been in this situation we'd love to hear from you like what would you do um, we can leave this somewhat open-ended because this is our story like how do we want it to end um you know where are you in that money thing and has this ever happened to you 
Have you ever had to worry about only having cash and not having credit because you have such a low credit score? Again, if you have a story or you have a question for us, give us a call, 888-565-1470. Right, and, and from the female perspective, I mean, not that we're delving into relationships here, but this is somewhat, how does your credit, how does your use of money affect that relationship? And we all know money matters and relationships are huge. It's probably one of the number one, number one or number two thing of why people end relationships because of those financial issues. So any fee, anybody out there that has, you know, experienced that. And then what happens if she actually ends up paying? I mean, well, if you it. have to ask her, right, <laughs> just the, to get up the courage to ask her to chip in like, or hey, what I, if it goes over? I don't. How do you explain yourself? Now, instead of just showing that credit score number, you're going to have to fess up and let her know what your situation is. Do you think that she'll still be as interested? I mean, how do we judge people based on what they have? And, you know, credit is a big thing. Do we even look at that at this point? Right. Nowadays, I think everybody's been affected. So it's not surprising if somebody doesn't have credit. Back Back in our days of dating, yes, right. I mean, I think I think that, you know, it was expected that everybody had good credit. Everybody took, you just assume everybody takes good care of their finances. And it's not always the case. And it's not, it doesn't make you a bad person. Uh, life happens, situations happen, and credit for most people, eight out of every 10 people have an issue with their credit. Right. So it's not uncommon now, but we really want you to feel how does it make you feel if you don't have good credit? And how does that affect all of the relationships? Maybe it's not just a, a dating situation. Maybe it's a spouse. Maybe it's a, a parent, how they look at their kids. Or how your kids look at the parents. I mean, they're following suit. And we want to portray really great habits. And if we did get into trouble, we want our children to learn from those mistakes. I certainly wouldn't want my kids to make the same mistakes I have. Um, I, I, I don't want my kids to make the right. same mistakes. So, Well, let's go ahead and take a break. And um, if you have a, a question for us, give us a call, 888-565-1470. And we'll talk more well, about credit yeah. and relationships. Did you know that having less than perfect credit can cost you upwards of $1 million in interest rates, fees, and other unnecessary charges over your lifetime? And did you know 80% of credit reports have errors causing lower credit scores? And did you know 43 million people have a credit score of 599 or less? Less than perfect credit leaves you with little or no control. The Healthy Credit Gals can help. We are the Healthy Credit Gals. Let us show you how to create financial fitness and peace of mind. Tune in and let's talk credit on 1470 AM and 95.3 FM. You've been listening to the Healthy Credit Gals inform you of how important good credit is and the stressful impact bad credit can have on your overall well-being. Visit our website at thehealthycreditgals.com and learn what options you have. Now, let's get back to the show. Okay, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Again, you, you can listen to us. Tune in on AM 1470 and FM 95.3. We're happy to, to share any information for questions that you might have. You can call us at 888-565-1470. Right. We, Let's move along. Okay. Yeah. We, we If you do have a, a dating story you want to share, we'd love to hear from you, how you got yourself out of a situation or how you got yourself into the situation because we, we'd certainly like to help you get out of that situation. So another situation that sometimes that many of us find ourselves in mm -hmm. is the purchasing of a car. And 
I think there's people out there that love purchasing a car, but I think for a lot of people, it's a dreadful experience. It also, again, depends on how you feel. Right. You know, if you know you have good credit and you're walking in, you know exactly what you want, really, it doesn't matter what that salesman says because you are in control of that situation. Right. But think about it from the other side. So if you don't have good credit, how does that make you feel walking in? You're not really sure, are you even gonna get approved for a car? Yeah, so if you're walking in with this, this is all the salesman sees, is you know that gray cloud with your credit score, how is he gonna treat you differently? How? We, we have, have a call, call from we Judy. We have a caller. Yeah, Judy, you wanna go ahead and put Judy in? Through? Yes, I'm right on the phone, right with you. I, I'm a little older than you. I'm, I'm a senior citizen. Is, is, it, is it okay I tell my story? Absolutely. Hi. We're happy to hear from you, Judy. Where are you at? Where are you located? I'm in an assistant living place called Will, Willowwood. And it's, uh, you know, a place for seniors and, you know, that's, that people are not feeling too well. But I'm still hanging in there and they, they make it tough. Even, even now, could you imagine telling me that I have to eat dinner at a certain time? Uh, usually dinner is five o'clock, so I get there ten to five. They make a big deal about that. How do you like that story? <laughs> wow! So <laughs> share with us. Um, I'm going to have to have to bring it up to the uh, the associates in this uh, in this facility. That is really nervy. It's abusive behavior, <laughs> and I, I and I, uh, I I can vouch for it because I studied law too, and I write to, I'm watching Judge Judy very carefully now too. Very but good. So what? I'm going off the track, Judy. But let us. I, I want to bring um, that up to you. you. What What made you call in? What touched a nerve with you? I, I want to tell you about a story about a guy that I really lo really liked. Can you believe this one? I met a guy um, a couple uh, 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 when I was in the hospital. I had a uh, like a, a breakdown, a kind of thing. I met a guy. Can you believe it? He was just so charming. He was he was a doctor. I saw his name on his name on the, the thing that was on his his arm. His name was William at the university hospital. I won't say anything more than that. Uh -huh. And he was so charming. I tell you, he really made me feel so good. I don't probably never see him again, but he, he made <laughs> such an impression. I mean, he's so kind, so sweet. And he gave me the love and the affection that I really, but he, of course, you know, the, all, all the guys that go for they were married. He's married. So who knows? I'll never see him again. But the way he treated me, <laughs> I said, was so charming. I swear, I, I know what it is. I always meet the wrong guys. So what made mm -hmm. him the wrong guy? What happened in your story? We're missing something here. He's married. He's married, Judy. <laughs> but how's his credit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we lost Judy. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, it's interesting, though, because credit does affect a lot of elderly people, too. I've had all types of um, different aged people that have credit issues. So it really is not limited to any age group. Really does affect everybody because... Right. You know, until you go and fix your credit, I think my oldest client that I've had were, was in their 80s and had signed up because they wanted to fix their credit so they could purchase a new home. So it really it really affects everybody across the board. Right, um, it does. Let's get back to the car situation okay, so, because that's oh, we, common. We were back, we were, we, we're purchasing a new car and what do we want to purchase or... What can we afford to purchase? And what do we, what's the financing look like? Because once I walk in with a 522, my, my ability to negotiate is, went down the drain. I, I have no ability to negotiate. And my, my interest rates are going to be through the roof. And I'm going to have to put a lot more money down. So I have really no negotiating value, no it negotiating definitely. skills on this one. Absolutely. On the other hand, if <clears throat> excuse me, if you do have a good credit score and you walk into a dealership, they pretty much have to answer to you because you get to pick what you want. You get to leave with no money down and no interest. So it really is a, a purchasing power that is attached to your credit score when you're in any circumstance. So we do have Judy back on the line. Oh. So let's see if we can get back to Judy. Judy, are you there? What is the solution to this problem? All the time I meet guys, they're, um, they're friends. I can't get, I've never found a romantic type of guy. 
and all my except my husband I was you know, romantic I, we had a romance for 30 years and now he is de- dead and I just playing the field with guys I just can't get the click yet you know so Judy do you have a story that relates to credit or purchasing power that you want to share with dating yes yeah, so I'll, I'll share something maybe it'll be unique I'm gonna try my best okay um I have a, so you, you want to start with a date that I had? A date would be great. How, how Was it someone that couldn't pay? What's your story? What was your experience? Let me see. Um, a special date. Let me think. <laughs> uh, let's see. I had a date with a guy with a very interesting man named, I won't name, name him. He's a driver. He drives people around. He's a chauffeur. He's like a driver. And we, when he makes a date, he makes an interesting date. He takes you, uh, he makes you breakfast. And then he takes you for a swim, and I have to take my bathing suit with me. He really gives me an interesting date, so I don't know. I, it's not. It's a surprising date, so I always have to take a bathing suit with me. And uh, and and he makes me breakfast, and then we go for a swim, and he then he takes me for a ride, takes me shopping, and that's the kind of date it is, pr- practically. And sometimes we go for a movie, and then you know, then we we play like you know, with our imagination, with with the weather. Judy, in, in the condition of the weather, Judy, Either we stay in and watch a movie, or we go out and go shopping, go to the malls and do some walking. Well, so, me, so Judy, let me ask you: sure does does he do pay right. for everything for you, or do you pay? And we have a little romance, of course, a little bit. Like oh, Judy, we're gonna rotation. have to we're gonna get back to our topic of conversation, but please stay tuned. Um, but we we've got to hang you. up. I'm my best, my <laughs> okay, no worries. You have a good night and listen in as we continue. Bye, Judy. Okay, so let's get back to our yeah. dealership again. Ju- Judy's it exhausting. Like- <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Judy has had a lot of a things lot of paid dates. for. A lot of things paid for for her. Good so that's job, good. Judy. Good job. <laughs> Uh, all right. So getting back to our, our, our walking, you know, how do you feel when you walk into that dealer, just knowing how that you are in control? I mean, get, get into that feeling of, I own this and I can own any car on the lot. And, um, so this is easy and I love car shopping because it's just such a joyous experience. This is my credit score now and I'll tell you that honestly, the last time I went in, I did I didn't have any kind of issues at all. I was able to once they pull your credit, so they don't they don't treat you differently at a at a dealership until they know what your purchasing power is. And we'll talk about um, a little bit more detail about that um, as we go along here. So why don't we switch gears again and talk about components of your credit score? Yeah, that's a good one. So there are five components, is that correct? Five components to your credit score? Absolutely. And um, the first one is payment history. That's that's the big one. Uh, so how you, what your past looks like, how you paid your bills on time, and that's that's a, a big chunk. That's about thirty five percent. Thirty five percent. So a, a, a little over a third. That's uh, the of, biggest the biggest amount. So think about that for a minute. If it's thirty five percent of what your score is made up of, and you just make one payment late. How does that impact your score? I have a that's a big question I get asked a lot. Yeah, that's why does your huge. score go down so much just from one late payment? Because and, and, it's 35% of your score. It's the largest part of what makes up your credit score. Now, we touched on this a little last month, uh, last week when we spoke that you know, what if you've never been been late and you made that one mistake and it was a silly mistake, you just missed it? Call. I mean, you, you you have nothing to lose by calling and requesting. Hey, I've been a good look. Look at my my record. I'm good. Like, don't like cut me a break here. Don't and report me. Most of the me. time, most of the time they will. They'll waive the late fee. They will give you, you know, that that one mistake right. because they understand. Pe- we're people. We're human. We do make mistakes. We might be traveling. It might slip our mind at some point. We might have somebody ill in the family. So 
Right. Yeah, so Some, call and ask, but that is 35%, and that's something that we control, so think about that. Right. What's the next one? Now, the next one also is a big one. It's about 30%, and it's your how much credit you are actually using. So we have a, a, a recommendation that you don't want to go over, 30% of your total credit limit. If you use your limit every month, even if you're paying it off in time, you are going to get dinged and you will continuously yes. get dinged. And that does reflect on your score. So another thing that you do have control over is if you need more credit, if you need to use that amount that you're using, raise your limits. Correct. That will help because if you have a higher limit and you're only using 30%, that gives you more playroom. A lot of people have a misconception, and I used to think this as well. If you have a, a credit card and you have a $5,000 limit, you wanna use that 5,000 every single month and just pay it off, and that's what, that's what I thought too. But what, every time that you go over 30% of whatever that limit is, you're actually hurting your score every single month. Right. So think about this. That's 65% that we've talked about. You have control of those two things. So just as long as you're utilizing your credit in a good way and a good manner and being responsible, you will build your credit score. Right. And there are ways, and we're not going to get into it in detail right now, but if you do need to raise that limit because you are being responsible with what you're using, you just don't have enough of a limit. There are ways of doing it where there aren't hard inquiries. Uh, some companies, so you can raise your limit with cards that you may never use, but it's a way to raise your limit because um, raising your limit does give you hard inquiries. So you have to be careful with how you are raising your limit. So again, if you have a question or if you have a comment, please give us a call, 888-565-1470. We'd love to hear from you and um, let's take another break and we'll come back and we'll talk more about some of the other components that make up your credit score. Stay with us. Did you know most people have no idea how their credit score works and no idea what their credit score is? Most people think just paying bills on time will ensure the best score possible. The reality is Five factors determine your credit rating. Types of credit, length of credit, amount owed, inquiries, and payment history. Did you know an employer can use your credit scores and history to determine whether they want to hire you? Your credit scores determine the premiums you pay for insurance on your car and homeowner's insurance, as well as other premiums. Your credit score also determines the interest rates for your mortgage and car loans. Even your utilities and cell phone is based on your credit score. Crazy, right? Low credit scores is like flushing money down the drain. We can put money back in your pocket. Tune in and let's talk credit. We are the Healthy Credit Gals. Let us show you how to create financial fitness and peace of mind. You've been listening to the Healthy Credit Gals inform you of how important good credit is and the stressful impact bad credit can have on your overall well-being. Visit our website at thehealthycreditgals.com and learn what options you have. Now, let's get back to the show. Hello again. We're back. And we're going to continue on our what uh, dictating your score. So we discussed the payment, the history, pay, which is 35%. So payment history is 35% on your past uh, paid past accounts. Um, we discussed the 30% is the amount owed and that limit between your total and keeping it at the 30%. And then we get into some things that you, you just have to build. So you have 15% is length of credit history. So if you're brand new to this or if you were wiped out with a bankruptcy and you're starting over, you're starting over at ground zero and um, you just have to 
continue to pay on time. You have to be very, you know, use it wisely, pay on time, don't go above the 30% and your history will continue to blossom. And you want to make sure because if you're if you already have experienced that, mm-hmm. you want to make sure you're learning your your lessons here. So we're trying to help you just gain a little bit of knowledge, a few simple little things that can make a big difference in how you build or how you hurt your score. Right. So let's talk more about that. So then the next one, which is uh, about 10%, is the types of credit. So the different retail. You know what? Let's back up to the 15, 15% again. Oh, okay. Only because I want to make sure people understand that with the with the length of your credit history, when you have a credit card and you pay it off and you close it out, you wipe out that whole history. So you want to make sure that you're not closing out credit cards that you're not using. It's better to keep that open. So if it's something that, say it's a Macy's card and you opened it 20 years ago, right? <clears throat> Once you pay it off and keep it open, whatever that limit was stays open on your on your calculation. So it's part of that that cumulative of what your limit is, what's available to you at this point. But if you close it out, now that $5,000 limit goes away, but also it affects your history. So now that history that you had of having good credit for with that particular um, payer for, t- for 20 years, now the history is wiped out. So this is what happens actually when young people are trying to build credit. If they haven't applied and, and don't have a lot of history, they don't have a lot of credit either. I have a question. So say I have a credit card. I, I was in the process of rebuilding myself and I had a credit card and then I got an, an offer from another credit card and I kind of stopped using that one credit card. Now they came back to me and said, if I don't use it, I will lose it. Is Correct. that the same thing? Like once it, it doesn't matter if they made the choice to close it for me or I made the choice to close it, same thing. Correct. Either way, it wipes out the history. So you you want to make sure you don't have a ton of different credit cards so that you can utilize maybe having two or three and you can spread it out a little bit, but be responsible. Again, credit is like money, but it's not money in your pocket. It's borrowed money. So credit is really a way that the the lender is evaluating your risk that's what that's what the credit score is all about right is what kind of risk level are you if you have a higher score there it's more likely that your history is good and that you are going to pay off that that credit right. and therefore you're entitled or you're going to be offered much higher limits Correct. And they're going to push you. They're going to, you know, you, some of you may be experiencing walking to your mailbox and getting more offers. You've been approved. You've been pre-approved. You've been approved for 5000 2000 1000 You know, here, you're pre-approved and you're like, oh, my God, I must be doing something right. Yeah. Well, you might be doing something right, but accepting all those offers is not advisable. It's actually going to hurt your score. Be careful how much you actually do accept with those offers. I mean, as your score goes up, you get more and more offers. The credit card companies will never lose. Correct. They will. And I, I say that about the insurance companies, too. The insurance companies will never lose. The credit card companies will never lose. And, um, yeah. Okay. So let's, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was clear on that part. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead Thank and move you. On. So where were we? Types of credit? We, we've, we're, a pers- okay, so types of credit, we're at the mix of the credit card. So it's good to have, you know, if you still do own a home, you have your mortgage. That's part of the mix. Car loan, that's part of the mix. Different credit cards, so a, diff- a variety of 
maybe the Visa Masters and a variety of different retails. So that they're looking for that mix and that's a good thing. Right. What type of portfolio do you have when it comes to credit? <clears throat> if you don't have a mortgage and you don't have a car loan, then wow, those are those are very important for people to for the longevity. Um, right to have now does so. can can okay so say you don't have those two things but you have the one credit card you manage to get and maybe it's just a retail credit card it's not even a visa at this point what about the would rent ca be categorized can you get that as part of the solution so most places that you rent from do not they don't report you <clears throat> um, with your rent to help build your credit they really only report you if you stop paying rent or if you move out and you don't take care of, you know, cleaning up or, you know, there's any kind of damages, anything like that. Maybe you move out before your notification. You're supposed to give a 30 day or a 60 day notice and you move out and don't pay for the last little bit or something. Anything like that is is negative and it's going to hurt your credit. But if you are a renter, we do have a program that we can help you build your credit because number one, rent is usually the most expensive amount that you're paying out every single month. So we can help you with that along with um, other services. And that will actually help a lot if you don't have a mortgage. Right. That That's a great way to increase your score assuming that you have paid on time and that you have a history and and your landlord is is able to do that for you so paying your rent on time is is huge especially if you are your goal again is to be a homeowner assuming you were once a homeowner or just to get into that first time home um, very important and, and so something we can, we can help you with. Absolutely. So that's your mix that you really want to have diverse types of credit that you, that you have. When you have good credit, it's easy to have that. When you don't, it's really establishing. Now you, you instead of having a regular credit card, you may only be able to access a secured card where you have to put down money. But that does help build your score. So we can also help you with that. Right. So let's and go ahead and talk about the last one, which is well, the kind last of in one that is, category. Um, to me, kind of goes into the credit history. It's a it's new credit. How much is new credit? How much are you being awarded right now? So, um, I mean, if that's where you're at and it's all new credit, you, you're that's a beautiful thing, and just continue to do well with that. Pay it promptly. Use a little bit at a time. And if you are using a secured line, I mean, it's the same thing. That's almost the very first, the very first thing that many people have to do in order to make that next step. So once again, you use it responsibly. It's, it's a great way to get your feet wet and establish credit. I mean, we, we all, we, this is how we're going to be existing. We are existing right. by this credit score. And Credit dictates pretty much everything these days. So you really do want to start out and manage your, your credit in a responsible manner so that now you can build and build and build. That gives you access to so many other things. Right. And, you know, I know I, I have two children in their 20s that are very responsible people. Um, one has established more credit than the other, but it's you know it's it's all it's all a learning game and 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 you know what whether you're in assisted living and or you're you're in your twenties I mean it, it this is this this credit score is not age specific. Uh, specific. At all. We are all <laughs> affected, and I think as as we keep going forward, it's going to become more age, you know, it's, 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 it's just going to be one of those. It already is. It's one of those things. It's it is. One it's of those something things. that you really, it, it either empowers you to go out and purchase whatever you would like, or, you know, it's going to limit you. And we've seen that across the board. It will really limit you if you don't have good credit, less than perfect credit, not only limits your purchasing power, but it costs you a lot more money. So definitely we want to encourage people to 
hone in those um, those skills and get a little bit of knowledge about little tweaks you can make and, and how you manage your finances so that you can take advantage of building that score as much as you as much as you can. Right. It really does dictate everything that you can do in life. So Yes, so back to sixty five percent is in your control. So use your credit wisely and make good choices and we're here to help you with that and we're here to get you back on your feet if you need that assistance. I think it was said last week many times this is your first step to getting you back moving into the the proper uh, direction as opposed to feeling like you're buried or drowning that sense mm -hmm. of I can't breathe and I'm uh, I'm underwater and I, I the stress of of that I mean I've been there I I've have been too. I know that stress I mean it's it's not it's, fun it's, but it's something that most people have experienced so you're not alone out there uh, we just really want you to understand just the the power of having a little bit of knowledge and making a few tweaks in how you manage your finances. And and maybe you're mm -hmm. you're running along doing just fine in that, you know, high six hundreds, low seven hundreds. Not a bad place to be, but it's still not as good as it could be and you are still spending more money than you need to because it can be better and and you're not going to get the best rates out there because of that score. Right. So, I mean, that's a proud yeah. number. Listen, here, 7-Eleven. <laughs> it's a proud number, but it's not good enough. Um, my experience, I had to ask my mother to co-sign a car loan so I could get a better rate. Mm -hmm. And mine wasn't in the toilet at this point. I was right around here, and it was not good enough. So I'm working at improving mine. Um, and and it, it, it really does make it, it, it's an emotional connection to how we feel because honestly, that credit score, it's attached to our social security number. It's part of who we are from the time that we are born. Our social security number is assigned when you're, when you're a kid and, you know, your credit right. score is attached to that. As soon as you start developing credit and whatever your history is, both good and bad and those bumps, it can be like a roller coaster, but you always can recover from it. Right. So if you have a story that you wanna share with us about how credit has really empowered you or has limited you, you're not alone. We wanna make sure this conversation is open now for everybody to jump in on. Call us at 888-565-1470 and we're gonna we'll, take a break. We'll be right and back. We'll be back in just a few minutes to show you all the other things that you can do to help raise your score. Stay with us. Did you know that having less than perfect credit can cost you upwards of $1 million in interest rates, fees, and other unnecessary charges over your lifetime? And did you know 80% of credit reports have errors causing lower credit scores? And did you know 43 million people have a credit score of 599 or less? Less than perfect credit leaves you with little or no control. The Healthy Credit Gals can help. We are the Healthy Credit Gals. Let us show you how to create financial fitness and peace of mind. Tune in and let's talk credit on 1470 AM and 95.3 FM. You've been listening to the Healthy Credit Gals inform you of how important good credit is and the stressful impact bad credit can have on your overall well-being. Visit our website at thehealthycreditgals.com and learn what options you have. Now, let's get back to the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody. Here we so are. It's it's flying by, right? Yes, yes. There's a lot of good stuff to share. So we want to actually take you back to our story. Yeah, we're going to go back to our dating story. So, you know, keep in mind this, this, this guy wants to marry this girl. I mean, this is, this is how he's feeling. Just this is the girl for At me and love. I'm smitten <laughs> and I'm doing everything I can to impress her. It's, it's, 
It's just beyond his <laughs> his ability to even comprehend what's happening with his feelings. So we're back at the dinner table and he's panicked. He's just he's <laughs> just beside himself because he at this point he's lost. You know they've had quite a few glasses now they're ordering bottles of champagne and he's really lost track of what they've spent and and now the bill comes and the bill (laughs) here comes the waiter and he's you know what's he gonna do is he you know he looks at the bill and um he really doesn't have enough he doesn't have enough money in his pocket Uh. And he does not want to be washing dishes. And he does not want to ask this girl, what do so, you do? How does I mean, that where, mean, how do you, like, like, how did that just impact this date? Like, you know. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> imagine how he feels at like, this point. Like, imagine. I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, oh, my God. God, what am I going to do? And, and you know, nobody's uh, venmo you know. Okay, we all know Venmo <laughs> these days, right? Maybe we don't. No I one, don't, I don't no use one, Venmo. No I never one, heard of it until no you, one. you spoke of it to me. <laughs> so it's not like you can just... This was back in the days when you really had to go in yeah. Western Union <laughs> and had to yeah, go and so pick up your money. His friends have not decided to put Venmo and put a little bit more money into his <laughs> checking account so he could access his debit card. So, you know, that's that's one scenario. But let's let's okay, we all got that feeling, right? We know we're we're feeling for this guy and he's sweating and you know, what a great dinner that just kinda went as good as it really could have and had a great time, but that one thing just that, that, yeah. What does he have in huge. his pocket? What's, you know, and, and how am I going to get out of this mess? Because I need money. I need extra so let's cash. let's flip it. Let's, I want to flip it now. Okay, let's flip it. So what is that guy thinking if he has no worries, he has cash in his pocket, but he also has credit, and now he can pull out a credit card if he needs to. Right. How do you think that makes him feel? Do you like, think that would have changed the conversation and the feel and the 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 stress he was feeling if he didn't have that backup. Yeah, I think he is just he's got his peacock feathers wide open. He's he is courting this girl. And you know, they're they're planning on well, maybe not going right home, but going to get coffee and dessert after too because This evening does not want to end. They're having so much fun. And there's no financial stress. Now, let's see how she would be thinking. How do you think she she would she pick up? She feels amazing. <clears throat> this how do you guy, think she picks up, though, if there's that stress and she feels yeah, like he's like a little detached? Well, and he's sweating and <laughs> his palms are, you know, he's he's just not looking well. He's, and he's nervous he's, opening up his, that bill. His face, his, all the blood <laughs> has come out of his face. He's just... You know, he's going to go home and, and, you know, lose the dinner he just ate because it's so uncomfortable. But let's focus on the, the positive. The, so now that everybody got, can recover and everybody can have credit. So let's see how he feels with that scenario right. being the ending. So confident. He's, I mean, they are happy and they are smiling and they're laughing and, and I think con- she really feels she, it too, she right? She feels his confidence and wow, this guy. This is a good this provider guy, now. guy, maybe, <laughs> you know, maybe his score is on his head. And, and you yeah, know, maybe the, it's the 817. The, and, and no worries. <laughs> I mean, and, and not to say there's no worries, but hey, the first the present moment and the present first date went as great as it possibly could. And would you go out on a second date? Would Is there a possibility for a second date? I think that girl would be so impressed. And honestly, if you think back, when you go on any kind of date, no matter what age it's at, and there's no stress about the finances, you can feel that synergy. There, It's just a lightness 
versus a heaviness if you've ever been in a relationship and experienced the stress of the finances. It takes a toll on the, not only yourself, but it does take a toll on all the relationships around you. It how, absolutely How does it make you feel? Does. Like all the time you're feeling so stressed, you're worried when the phone rings, you're worried somebody's trying to collect money that you don't have. And, you know, oh, again, let's get into the money you don't have. Yes, let's talk about that. What if what if that is the issue? You just don't have enough money coming in. That's very common now. You know, a lot of times after this market crash, a lot of people got into situations where they're at a job where they're not really getting paid what they used to. Right. They're not making enough money, but they're spending more time trying to make money. And maybe they're in a job that they, they don't took, even like. Yeah, that they, they took just, just because it was the, the only opportunity. Or they just, they had to have the health insurance. A lot of people are in that scenario and it's a miserable job to be at. So a lot of people are unhappy with their jobs. A lot of people aren't making enough money. And the bills, there's more going out than coming in. And that's where you got stuck. Like what, you know, it's just not, I just can't get my end of the month in there. It's just not landing. It's not adding up. So we have a solution, don't we? We do. We actually have a, a business opportunity right. for people. If they, if anybody wants to find out more about our business opportunity, how you can be in our situation, maybe you want to work from home, maybe you just need a, a little bit of extra money, or maybe you want to make a career change and just jump into it full time. This is an opportunity for you to not only be able to share and help others, but it is an opportunity to change your life as well. We want to empower people to go to our website, thehealthycreditgals.com, take a look at our business opportunity. And if that's something that resonates with you, give us a call or shoot us an email, contact us on our website. And, you know, let's see if that's yeah, something we, you want to explore. We, we have a lot of people across the country that have jumped in with us. So it's something you might want to think about as well. Absolutely. And it's, it, it's fun. We're helping people. I mean, it, it's a serious matter. We're bringing it to the forefront. So you get the opportunity, if your thing is education and helping people, this is for you. Um, I mean, you, you'll decide, you'll see. But yeah, we just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, Everybody has residual <laughs> bills. Those bills don't keep, you know, they don't stop coming. So no. they come every single month. You keep paying them and it's right. darn thing shows up again, again the next month, right. whether it's FPL, whether it's your mortgage, right. anywhere in between. It can be a sizable bill. It can be a small bill, but right. we can't get away from our bills. Right. So and somehow, if you need some help, yeah, this is a great opportunity. Yeah, consider it. It's it's uh, just wanted to throw that out there for you. Again, check out our website at thehealthycreditgals.com. We're on every Friday evening. You can tune in to us here at uh, AM 1470 and, and, and FM 95.3. 95 95 yeah, 95.3. And um, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we're we're, we're out, our, we're out I know. there. All of our social <laughs> media was launched. So we're happy that you were patient with us from last week. And now you can check us out on Twitter. You can check us out on Instagram. Now we have to learn how to Use manage it. all of that, <laughs> all of those different social media since it's new. Some of them are new to us, but you can find us on Facebook and we just appreciate that we're able to help and empower people about their finances. And it's such, again, it's a taboo conversation that used to be so taboo, but there's more people than not that have been affected by these issues. So don't feel like it's something that, only right. you are going through. No, Most you are have. not alone. So what we want to do, we want to take this gray cloud, <laughs> this gray cloud, yes, of a score, and we want we want to we want to turn it into a beautiful cloud, and and we have that ability to help you. It takes a phone call. You, you know, let us know that you 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 want to talk, and we're we're so happy. We'll, we'll be so happy that you reached out to us and we'll, you know, we'll respond accordingly. And if it's just knowledge you're looking for, 
you know, that's why we're here. We're, we're so pleased to be able to share our knowledge and, and help and provide the education that I think is really needed, which is why we're Something here. Not in, it's, it's, we're not taught in our no, schools and no. we're limited by our parents. Maybe they weren't taught either. So it's really just very limiting. Right. Um, and now we just want to make sure that people get that knowledge and have that information that can, you know, w- again, with just a few little tweaks can make such a big difference in how you manage your finances and how you create a credit score that you're proud of, that you can walk around and have no stress with. Right. And um, I think we're, we're getting ready to sign off. Yeah, let's wrap yeah. it up. But again, we hope you've enjoyed our show. Uh, check out all of our different social media and we look forward to sharing with you next week. Actually, I have a quick little announcement before we go. Next week, we're going to be coming to you live from the heart of Delray um, Art Gallery in Delray Beach, Florida. It's at 1440 North Federal Highway in Delray Beach and there's an open there's party. An open it's open party. to the public from six until midnight. So we will have our show from six till seven there. Join us and tune in next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, everyone. been listening to the Healthy Credit Gals with solutions on how to create financial fitness and peace of mind. Visit our website, thehealthycreditgals.com, or call us at 888-315-3182. See you next week. Same time, same place for more tips and info. Enjoy the weekend. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. two jobs and my husband works too. My kids go to school with your kids. I sit next to you at PTA meetings. We live right next door. We've been neighbors for years. You know my family and me pretty well, but here's one thing you don't know. I'm one out of every six Americans and my family is struggling with hunger. Like you, we believe in this country What's hard to believe is in the land of milk and honey, how many hardworking Americans have to choose between paying bills and feeding their families. This is a problem with a solution. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide seven meals for those around you quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Now you can get Talk 1470 WNN on 95.3 FM too.